Ever tried to record one of these into one of these? Still got no idea how to synchronize the two so you don't have to play your synth live? Stay tuned because we've got five steps to show you how to record your synth into your DAW perfectly every time. We are back. Well, I, I never really went anywhere, but in case you haven't noticed, new studio. Wait, 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 wait. It, it, it's not ready yet, so I don't want to show you everything. Still got loads of bits to do. In other news, my hair has almost grown out and gone back to normal, but I'm kind of on this 90s frosted tips flex at the moment. Da, da, da. Before we roll on to recording your beloved synths, please hit that like and subscribe button to show your support and receive great weekly content and see my lovely face. You know you want to. If you're bored of using plugins and you're looking for a bit of hardware, the first thing you're probably gonna buy is a new synth. But recording it and playing back MIDI isn't that simple. In fact, it's not even something that anyone talks about because we're sort of expected to know how to do it. Whether you're using Logic or Ableton, I wanna show you how to record your synthesizers and keyboards into your DAW without any hassle. Okay, maybe a little hassle, I lied. A synth or keyboard? An audio interface? Some audio cables, either these, or these, and this USB cable, or some MIDI ones. Turn on your computer and plug in your audio interface. Find the output on the back of your synth and use the audio cables to connect it to the input of your audio interface. If necessary, download the relevant software and follow the instructions. Now connect the synth to the computer via USB. Plug in the 5-pin MIDI cables to the back of your synth. Take note of the MIDI in and MIDI out. If your interface doesn't have a MIDI connection, you'll need one of these. Plug the MIDI to USB interface into your computer via the USB. In Logic, make sure you have an audio channel selected. Find the corresponding input that you plug your synth into and then turn input monitoring on. Now play your synth just to make sure that you've got these steps. Great. Now next up what you're going to want to do is open an external MIDI channel. Make sure you tick this box that says use external instrument plugin and hit create. Then go over to the actual instrument click to open it and select your MIDI destination to go to Minilog Sound 2 or whatever it is that you are using. Should come up with the name of your synthesizer here if you've downloaded the driver, although not all synthesizers need drivers. Once you've got that set up, select the external MIDI channel and hit record and play in a melody. In order to play back the melody, all you need to do is hit the space bar and this should send the MIDI information to your synthesizer. Now what's great about this is it does allow you to play back the melody and adjust other parameters on the synth. When you're ready to commit to the audio, click on the audio channel and then hit record. For Ableton users, you're going to want to do a very similar thing to Logic. So make sure you have an audio channel selected and then you're going to want to change the input again to the input that your synth is plugged into. So for us it's input 1. Then click this button in to monitor the signal coming in. If you play your synth now, you should be able to hear it coming through.
Next up, what you're going to want to do is head over to the left hand panel, select instrument, and then double click on external instrument. You're going to want to send the MIDI to your synthesizer. If it doesn't show up here, just go to configure and see if you can find it and then turn it on. So I'm going to send to the mini log sound. Let's open this up so it's a little bit bigger. And then what I'm going to do is just record a very quick melody. Just like in Logic, what this lets me do is play back the melody to the synthesizer. So it's sending the MIDI information there, and then I'll be able to play around with other parameters if I need to. So let's switch on that loop, hit the space bar. When you're ready to commit to audio, you want to record enable the audio channel and then hit record up here. Make sure your synth isn't too high or low in volume. Get your levels right. Latency, 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 latency. To be honest, both external MIDI clocks from Logic and Ableton are just crap. You can try resolving this by changing the buffer rate, but sometimes it just makes it worse. Both DAWs try to make up for their shitty external MIDI clocks by moving the audio that you've recorded either slightly earlier or slightly later, depending on where it thinks it should be. Most of the time, it gets it wrong. So make sure that after recording your audio, you go in and have a look at the audio region and decide whether you need to move it ever so slightly. The best way to get it in time is to line it up with your MIDI notes. If you can't get any of the steps above to work, you might just have broken or cheap cables, or maybe you've selected the wrong input, or I just wasted five minutes of your life. Right, I promise I will do a video on the new studio very soon. It's just not ready yet, so I don't want to show you guys, and I want it to be perfect for you. If you love what you saw here today, please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in a few days with another video. Let me know if there's anything you want me to cover in the comments below. Peace.